we are in the thunderous cave on a donor island and we're gonna see if we can make some progress here and maybe meet and hopefully beat a trainer in the process thank you so much for joining me we are playing some more of the Cormon demo here and like i said we are in the thunderous cave this is kind of a maze-like structure and in any maze-like structure that i play when i play in games i have a strategy that really works for me and i think it is a clue a helpful hint for everybody that they should look at or work on as they go through any area that basically has no straight path through it a dungeon in zelda or any kind of maze like structure really works this way sometimes if there are open doors that you can go through i will usually go into the open doors before i go into the closed doors before i go into locked doors but in a strictly open area like this one of the best things you could do is hug one of the walls you will get out eventually so if you follow either the left or right wall all the way around and that's exactly what we're going to be doing i'm going to be following this left wall all the way around as we play this it will get you to everywhere nine times a ten there are some level areas or design techniques that you can do that will put you in a circle but again if you find yourself in a circle it's something that is fairly easy to get out of you follow one of the, you can pick left or right your choice but if you pick left stick with left and you will eventually you'll go to all the areas and you'll be able to find your way out and that is in my opinion the easiest way to go through a place especially a place like this in which you're going to be continuous continuously getting random encounters you don't want to be wandering around back and forth over the same area if you do that you're just going to get a lot of more encounters than you really need to run into so what you want to do is stick to one side and hopefully you'll be able to get through it i don't think there would be much complications the biggest thing that you would run into in a game like this is if you are in a position where your squad gets really low on health and you have to walk your way back out but the easy way on that is you follow the path you know your path you went in along the left wall you come back out along the same wall and there you go you are done that's just that's an easy way to find the way out it's almost like leaving a a breadcrumb because you know where you've been you know you followed this one path and that's the way you're going to do now if you come to a dead end just keep on going around that wall and you'll there'll be a point like just below this battle there's a choice to go left or a choice to go straight as i hit this dead end i'm going to keep coming around that left wall and eventually it's going to lead me to where i take that right again i don't know if we're going to get that far in this episode but it will get you through this area i've had a few comments saying i can't find the exit i can't find thomas i can't find the stairs i can't get out of here that's how you do it you pick the left or right wall and they will lead you where you need to go eventually it might be a little roundabout and you might run into some trouble but i think this is the best way to do it because you're not going to be wandering back and through there's going to be less of a chance to getting a lot of extra encounters and i'm going to have to switch out here i do believe let's see what my silk quill can do here my swarming got messed up a little bit there the fiddly is another pretty cool one there's several of these 
Gormon that have this attack that can hit one, two, or three times. That hurt quite a bit, even though it hit only twice. Let's see if we can get a fast strike in here once or twice, hopefully. Yeah, these pinchers, it's good if they hit once, but bad if they hit three times. Kind of like the tail whip of the Mino and the... There was another one, what is the, the Mawful? That also does a tail whip. I usually try to stay away from those because of the randomness of them. You don't know what you're gonna end up getting. Oh, that's close, but I got fast strike. So we're gonna go ahead and throw that in there. That's gonna get me that first hit. That's where fast strike comes in. Extremely handy. You know you're gonna hit first and you'll be able to get that even with three or one point left you can make sure that you get that last hit in and it really helps you out so we're going to switch up the houndos this actually worked out really good because houndos is an electric type and mawful is a, a sand type sand is extremely useful against electric so we're going to be able to put him down fairly easy no pun intended and here we go. As you can see, you got those little green lines above that. That is one of the settings that you can change in the settings menu. You could have those show or not show. I kind of prefer to have them show because I can't keep all this information in my head all the time. There's just too many different types and too many different attacks. There's things that like Moffle's a sand type, but he could also do another kind of attack type it's yeah it's they're really mixed up and it's kind of hard to straighten out sometimes so it's just best to have those lines on there if you would like a little bit more difficulty in the playthrough you could have that option off so that it doesn't show if something is strong or weak we're just barely above where I want to be in this area. I'm gonna run up here and grab this chest. And just as I said, I went in on the left, so we're just gonna follow this left wall back out. Hopefully we make it back out because we are down to only a couple. Kormon, we were fairly lucky coming in and didn't get a whole lot of encounters on the way in so if we can get back out pretty easily i think we'll be okay if there's the time that you need to start heading back out when we come back through we're going to be a little bit higher level which is going to help us out and also we this grunt is going to be dead or not dead defeated i should say and we'll be able to pass him so it's not going to be that much a of a trouble he's not going to hurt as many of my Cormon at his, as he did this time. Ooh, Moffle gets Constrict. I didn't realize that Moffle got Constrict. I know. What is that one Cormon? It's a um, Slitherpin did, but I, I must have not just not remember that Moffle did as well. So we're going to switch him out because he is level 14 now. We're going to get him. And then, of course, we can run our way back to make our way back to the there we go outside so that we can go and get healed up pretty easily and you just keep on doing that run in a little bit defeat a grunt grunts usually take a couple hurt a couple of your cormon so you kind of take one of the grunts out run back out go back in take care of another grunt that's kind of how i play it in the thunderous cave if i'm a really high level and it just timing and random chance and stuff like that work out for me maybe i will go on a little bit further after i beat a grunt but the grunts are the big thing in thunderous cave or the power tower you really just have to take care of a grunt or two and then run back out just keep on doing that it's the best way to do it again when you're in that pinch where you need the 
healing keg and you really don't have it you're going to be regretting this i highly recommend going back as much as you can as much as possible you won't regret it it's just it's going to save you on your hp cakes and your money when the time comes that you might need that a little bit extra money for another spinner or some more hp cakes or whatever as you're nearing the end of the area holy crap he got hit really hard with that thunder we're gonna be able to do maybe one more here if he does another thunder we are not going oh a slam not quite as strong as the thunder i don't think the cinder is going to take him out we haven't been doing quite ah uh, two points left if he would have got burned we would have been able to make it i think we're going to switch out i don't want to risk the chance of him getting knocked out i know i've been going first but just on the off chance something happens and the buzzlet goes first i really don't want to do it that way so we're gonna do venomous bees to get rid of him because it is a ranged attack where the sting is a the sting and the slam are both physical attacks and the buzzlet has a like an electric body that will give you a shock if you touch it if you do a touch attack so my taruga went up there we go we're gonna switch him out with the Patterbite, of course so that we can get actually we're gonna switch him out as well so that my taru goes all the way at the end so he has a less likely of a chance to get hurt another thing oh he's sparkly what are you gonna be are you gonna be my thunder type are you gonna be potent yes so we're not gonna hit him hard we're gonna take the uh, slams and hopefully oh stop Woo! that was perfect so now we have a potent lumen as well and that will be our electric type that we're going to be needing later on uh that's it's definitely not a normal type cormon so let's do a, a silver spinner which should be able to catch it and that moves us up to four potents in our party and that is awesome i can't imagine he's gonna get i was gonna say i can't imagine he's gonna get out of that i've put a lot of thought in this and i believe i'm gonna get rid of the slither pen is swarmy because we already have a poison so swarmy is my poison the powder bent and the seal quill are my powder bit are uh, powder bit and seal quill are other potents and then the Taruga's my starter and my Mawful's good at electric types, which is what we need in this area. No, yeah, Mawful's good at, that's right. Mawful is good at electric types and there's a lot of electric types in this area. Hey, who would have guessed that there was electric types in the Thunderous Cave? I wanted to switch him and this may end up proving a bad idea but we're gonna switch these around a little bit if i can i want to put him here and then i think that's going to be a good what i want to do is level him up so we're going to have him start out in the battle and then switch out there for a second i thought i was going to do that trainer again i was like what's going on okay that kind of flipped me out there for a second actually it is a buzzlet so what I'm gonna actually do, uh, Moffle's already up to 14. Let's see what the Silk will, you know what? I'm gonna go with the Moffle. I it just, it doesn't make things. I think the Silk will is a normal type and normal types are weak to electric. I'm not 100% sure about that, but I think it's just best to go ahead and put this guy out there and just take him down. It's gonna knock him out. It's gonna be an easy victory and that's probably the best thing even though he's already level 14 when we get into the power tower if he's a few levels ahead we could push him to the back and level up the rest of the party as we go so let's head up on here and i think there is another trainer up on this one here's another decision we're going to head to the left because we're following that left road i would really like to get a potent mawful but I don't think it's gonna be in the cards for us here. We'll just have to see. 
the Moffle is a good Santa type, and I would highly recommend it in the Thunder's Cavern or the Thunder's Cave here and to defeat Voltron, the first Titan that you have to deal with. It's just so much easier to deal with. I don't think he's going to make it through here. I got Fast Strike, but. Oh, is he going to get knocked out? No, but I think my Fast Strike here is going to save me. Yep. There we go. That's another one. I pushed it a little bit, probably a little bit more than I should have there because I wasn't 100% sure that that last fast attack was going to do it. But we got Lumen up. Lumen's Electric. I think we're going to go with... Let's try SP with him and a attack. Because I don't think he's going to be a main guy for us. I think we're going to go for something else here we probably should start heading back we got our patter bit here and our swarmy still but right up there is another trainer and i really don't want to get into a battle with that trainer with the guys that we have so yeah i don't want to worry i don't want to do that that wouldn't be a good idea <laughs> Let's just do it that let's just say it that way. We want to be able to get out of here alive. Again, there is a recall unit. You can buy those if you are in a very bad position. It is possible to use a recall. I believe all the way hard will allow, but I don't think insane will allow you to recall. So you got to be aware of that when you are thinking about your recalls. You can if you're on easy, normal, or hard. So think about that. Also think about when you're coming through tunnels like this, you want to do as little steps as you can. So I would recommend not running when you're getting to the interchanges or intersections because that's just going to make it so that you run another square, you run another square, and it's going to make that chance for you to get another attack another battle and when you're trying to get out it's not good to go into another battle really not a good idea so let's go ahead and do a propeller punch i really like this pitter bat pitter bite i get my patter bit and my pitter bite mixed up there all right we knocked him over that's cool so we get a couple easy propeller punches in here and that was a fairly easy fight there and i like the propeller punch for that reason we got a couple hits in there and no real difficulty in that but my lumen is now up to level nine so we're doing good with that hey let's run and just head our way down as much as we can and i think we have it out here Sweet. we're making our way we got a pretty good team here i think we have everything at least to cover the demo. We've got our electric type, type that we need and our sand type. The silk is also a good one because the cut attacks and the sand attacks are the ones that are really good against electric. Let's see if our lumen has any traits. So we want to go to summary here and see what he has he is passive the cormon charges when hit by an electric attack increasing its speed interesting it's a conductor that's that's a pretty interesting little stat there and as i was saying here if we go down here i'm trying to think of one well i could show you on my silk wheel my fast attack is a normal and then the wind blast is air well, no, where was it? Pocket sand is sand. Oh, claw. There it is. That's what I was looking for. Claw is a cut type. And anything with that triangle and it's a cut type, that has a very effectiveness against electric type. So a silk wheel or a sand type. I think the armado also has a cut attack. So just kind of keep that in mind as you're heading towards the voltatron in the power tower that you want to have one of those guys 
handy. At the by the end of the thunderous cave, you're gonna want to have an electric type because yeah, you're gonna need that electric type at the end of the thunderous cave. So we're still following this left wall here. Just keep on doing as is this is Thomas this way or the other way? Ooh, I'm not telling you. Ha ha ha. Uh oh, he only has two, which probably means that they're up a level. Sand scale is another one that I really would like to check out. Oh, he is, he is up a little bit more. I was not ready for that. Let's try my, Swarmy's my only one that is level 13. I don't think he's gonna do well against the sand scale, but if we can get a poison type in here, get him a little poisoned it would be nice that did way too much damage and i believe swarmy's gonna go out yep he's yeah he got that extra hit there we go i i figured i'd go for it but that didn't that did not work out for us at all unfortunately those boulder barrages did way too much damage and my swarmy was just too slow it looks like the sand scale has a pretty fast speed there but that didn't work out too bad. That was 15 and he uses toughen up, which means that it's going to hit less this time. His defense is increased. So I'm gonna be doing less damage here. I might actually use a Phoenix Shard. I have a couple of them. Oh, we did another knockdown. Awesome, that's gonna help us out tremendously right here. Uh, maybe not. <laughs> I I missed. Oh, I had that perfect opportunity. It's like that goal, uh, the soccer person right in front of an empty goal and he misses it that was a perfect opportunity and i blew it he had he was not attacking he had one more hit and i missed wow that's a little frustrating but we got it done we took care of 164 experience that means he is probably going up oh i expected oh swarmy's finally evolving yay we get a bezel here i've been waiting for this guy I figured he would evolve earlier than this, but we got him. We got a, and it stays potent. So he is a potent Bezel still. So that is really good. I like that. He is sending out another sand scale. He has two of these guys, but we did pretty good here. So we're going to keep the pu propeller punch and hopefully take him out pretty easily. He just seems to be using toughen up a lot and it's, sort of effective but i feel that if he hit me more often that would be even more effective so i have a little bit that lowers my attack accuracy lowers my accuracy a little bit oh uh, no let's see if we can hit with this slam and see if that will do enough probably not we have plenty of health here so if we had to rest one turn it will not be that big of a deal. Also, I have not used any HP cakes and I haven't used any money yet so far. So I think in the interest of time and getting a little bit more out of this episode, we are going to revive with a Phoenix Shard and heal him up a little bit so we can press on a little bit more he got a whole lot of experience out of that battle and we get factory reset which is a very interesting setting i defeated grunt so let's do that let's go ahead and get items and we need a is it in here I'm not, yes i got four of them that's going to be very good. And then a small cake, I believe. We have nine. I haven't used a single HP cake yet. So there we go. We have quite a bit going on here. No, yeah, I know. I want to go out there. There we go. And we need to maneuver our, nope. I don't want to switch him. I want to switch my pattern bit to the end and then have my Taruga Lumen, Taruga, Beazel, Silquil, Moffle, and a patter pitter bite and four of those guys are potent so we're doing pretty good here i gotta say and we found a spinner awesome 
and we're another round of counter <laughs> yeah i was hoping oh is that another potent one already it kind of looked like oh no i guess not so we're gonna have to i don't want to really use my mawful but let's go ahead let's go switch to my taruga it's probably not the best of idea a mawful would have been a lot better of a choice but i kind of want to get him up a little bit too and i know that if i keep on with the mawful he's just going to go up really high and not be incredibly incredibly effective but he only did five points of damage there and we are doing a lot more on him so i am okay with that 13 and probably yep oh he got burned too sweet it's not going to be enough though i don't think but what i'll do instead of doing the cinder i am going actually i could rest even but i think i'm going to go ahead and do the slam that way it makes sure that he doesn't get his attack in it, the burn or the poison i believe happens at the end of the round so even if i rest then he'll get his attack in and it's not going to help me any so it's best not to do it that way let's see if we can go a little bit further i really don't want to be i don't think upstairs yet so i'm not sure if i want to go up or not but we'll see let's see if we can knock these rocks out of our way grab this and see what's upstairs i believe this is the way we got two static spinners those i believe are good for electric types yeah we're definitely up i think there's only two ways only one way to go up and i'm not sure i really want to go up yet can i knock it over again yeah okay that is the way out i think what we're gonna do is come out i think there's only one way up into the second level so what i want to do now instead of go up and have that another area that i have to go through i'm going to cover this whole bottom area first i got quad volt let's go ahead and do scratch that says it says it's an effective type i hope he doesn't use scratch on me yep he used scratch on me too but oh that was a critical hit let's see if we can take him out here if we can that's going to give my lumen oh swarm diversion good that lowers my accuracy i believe at least he didn't attack i was worried about that there we go we should be able to do that and the, the all that experience goes to the lumen which is going to be quite a bit there i think that's where we're going to end the episode here we did good we got another lumen which is makes me really happy that to get that lumen and our swarmy leveled up into a bezel thank you so much for watching i do appreciate it we're going to be continuing our way in the lower level of the thunderous cave in the next episode thank you so much for watching and i will see you all next time bye everybody